Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I've got another uh, half-assed bleed build for you guys. No, I'm just kidding, but please don't be salty on this video like you guys were in the last one because that was a bit out of hand. So today, uh, following kind of like the bleed mechanic, I remade a character. This is my level 66 summoner and it is based around bleed just like the previous character except this character is going to be a little different and the reason why it's a tad bit different is because rather than using bleed as its main mechanic it's kind of just using bleed as like a like an off mechanic if that makes sense uh so the utility here is knitted horrors which are the specters that we're using right now uh they have innate 100 pierce and 100 bleed because they use puncture so if you put gmp on them they basically have gmp puncture right uh, now the reason why this is cool is this sets up a bloodlust setup for our zombies that we're not fully using yet um, But I mean realistically I could swap them But ideally I might use like a zergles crank and the zergles crank would allow me to use two six links So I could use a six link for my zombies and a six link for my specters I'd get a hundred es which is not too much But it's something and I could also hit block cap if I use bone offering Which would be good defensively for myself and for my minions which is something that's really, really cool, and I cannot wait to actually test out. So, uh, with that being said, I want to go ahead and jump in and show you guys a little bit of some content clearing in some T3 maps. Nothing really too special or anything, but let me go ahead and show you guys an example here. We got a nice little vault pyramid map of bloodlines, uh, which I actually cannot run here because it's beta and the, the shit's broken. So, all right, let's just put it in map device okay so the links go as follows as of right now we've got minion damage gmp decay raise specter deadly ailments only reason we're using decay is because it's overpowered um, i can actually put in unbound ailments instead if you guys are curious um, but i want to show it for decay for right now because decay is just op uh, and then in my my specters or sorry my zombies we're using minion damage brutality melee physical raise zombie and i'm just running clarity discipline and temporal chains on blasphemy right now ideally i'd run vulnerability as well but i don't really need the damage it's kind of like a little bit of what the tree looks like we will be transitioning to ci soon uh, i have a new shield waiting for me which would bump me up to about 5,000 energy shield when i hit about 5k i will most likely spec into ci um, and i do have zealots oath so i'll spec into a little bit of regen i've got regen here i'm going to pick up some regen here I'm also going to go ahead and redo this intel point, come here, connect through life and energy shield, and then I can grab growth and decay as well. So I don't have any vol skills set up, so nothing really too crazy there. So here you guys go. Oh yeah, and uniques are just as followed. Vis Mortis, Ephemeral Edge, Bones of Allure. Uh, that's all I've got right now. I've got a Calton Hull, so you can see how OP my gear is. Okay. So the Spectres don't really do too much single target, but like I said, they allow a really good setup for my zombies. Um, I will also probably end up using Maim on them too, because that basically, for every support gem I use for my Spectres, that makes monsters take increased damage as a multiplier to my zombies. So it really depends on if I need more AoE clear or if I need more single target clear. Uh, one thing to note about Knitted Horrors, unfortunately, is you cannot desecrate them. So we need to basically form a uh, petition to GGG to allow us to desecrate um, knitted horrors because as of right now the only way to get them is via like dried lake which is a level 30 zone basically or we can um spam run maps to hopefully get them you know i am getting destroyed by chaos damage here what's my chaos res minus 60 how many deaths do we have up, build is confirmed, hardcore viable, mapping with 1k HP, minus 60 chaos res. Uh, rip that room. Actually, let's go back and get it. We can go back and get it. Now for our ascendancy points as well, uh, since we're in the beta, we only have access to two points. So we're currently just using Mistress of Sacrifice, which makes it so our offerings affect us. And this just gives us some additional movement speed. 
uh, cast speed if we're ever going to need to cast anything. So, like, Wither right now. Um, and, yeah, that's pretty much about it. I also went and specced into Commander of Darkness, which gives a little boost because I'm running Clarity and Discipline. So, that ends up giving my minions, like, 20% increased damage along with 10% attack and cast speed. And uh, just a little bit of all resist, which is nice. So, I'm going to go ahead and swap out Decay for Unbound Ailments. Now... I'm pretty sure it's better for me to use, like, Maim and or, like, Brutality and some other stuff, but I don't want to re-chrome my gear. So I can show you guys a little bit of how much damage they do right now. Uh, you can tell it's significantly weaker without the Decay. But with a 6 Link, uh, and being able to spec in some more minion damage, hopefully it's enough to just clear, like, basic mobs, because that would be the goal. It's something. It's not, it's not nearly as much, but these are not optimal support gems right now uh, for them. Okay. Okay, Constructs, let's relax. But I'm gonna put Decay back in because I kinda need Decay right now on budget shit gear. I'm really curious to see what they're gonna do with Decay though because as it stands, it's just so insane that even in like a one link, it does so much damage. I also decided to void out Melee Splash on my minions. Uh, on my zombies because I'm using two jewels which are called uh, Violent Dead and by doing that they pretty much slam constantly and as they slam well it's an AoE so you don't really need to put in um, melee splash I don't know how I feel about this yet because I'm thinking I might go ahead and test out and use um, uh, the uh, I forgot what it's called for the specters there's like a spirit eater a soul eater for specters but since I have four Spectres, I don't know if I want to do that. We'll see. Still a lot of testing to be done with the character. Alright, time for the single target. Four-link zombie massacre. What do we got here? Oh, they're actually dying. Oh, well, all my zombies. Oh! Oh, well, so, uh, I don't think I can do this map, boss boys. Um, <laughs> I don't know, it just happened to my zombies, but they went poof. Let's try it again, boys. I lost the Knitted Horror. I'm really sad, because it's going to be like 24 hours till I get that Knitted Horror back. Alright, let's go back. That's why you... Get them, boys! Zombies! Do deeps! I NEED YOU TO DO DEEPS! Uh-oh. Alright, so, uh, definitely worse than expected, but not a total loss. Uh, we did lose one Spectre, which sucks because, like I said, I'm not getting that Spectre back for about 24 hours, so... The reset will honestly probably happen in Act 8, it'll be out by that time. But anyway, I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys a little bit of info on this. Remember that these bosses have been buffed. Uh, and I'm pretty sure they all have like double HP as well, which kind of makes it a little PJ fucking mean face But that's pretty much about it. Like I said, so I hope you guys had a wonderful time Hope you guys enjoyed yourself as always if you did please feel free to like share and subscribe and remember you can catch me streaming live Every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys had a wonderful time and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care everybody